welcome to my channel my name is jessica and you're watching ready stitch sew where i talk to you about dressmaking vlogging about my sewing journey love for fabrics and patterns and anything sewing related chit chat so if you've got a passion in sewing or you're thinking about starting a new hobby in sewing then why not give it a go because you never know it is so much fun so go sew it Anyway, welcome back to all my regular viewers and subscribers and welcome aboard if you are new to my channel. Feel free to watch this channel right to the end and consider subscribing. That will be fab. So you've probably seen the intro of this video. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the So Fugal Challenge that has been happening all throughout the month of March. Now, I'm not a part of the... Um, the vlogger tour that you get like a little video every single day and a lot of people has been showing you already about some free sewing patterns that you can get and and levels of inspiration now i thought i thought i'd do one of my own so i can put this in my youtube channel now if you don't know what this channel is then where have you been all this time um so it's called a so frugal uh challenge i'll just put a picture at the side of me uh, just to give you a summarise about the um, challenge. So this one is by, uh, it's called the Sew Fugal Challenge and it is hosted by Rian from the Yorkshire Sew Girl and Sam for um, Fugula Isme. I think, I think that's what her name is, uh, her YouTube channel. Well, um, I do apologise, I forgot that one, if she's listening. Um, so um, I thought um, I'm going to take part on this so Feel Good Challenge because I didn't do it last year. So I thought, you know what, I've cut out all my fabrics yes, last night and then this morning I've been doing, you know, a lot of sewing um, and then hopefully I need to finish off a little things for tomorrow and then I can hopefully reveal it on the 31st of March. Now then, um, I'm going to tell you six three sewing patterns and each of these sewing patterns I got a little video tutorial so if you got so if you are a visual learner or a visual sewist like me because I like to see how the garment gets sewed up and it's just easier as soon as you cut you know cut everything out and you're ready at your sewing machine and you can sew along with a video now then, um, if you don't know what this challenge is, then um, all you have to do is just um, choose a, a free sewing pattern and then pick out um, some fabric from your fabric stash and then um, take a photograph um, of what you've been making and then put it on Instagram on the 31st of March. And don't forget to tag um, Rianne for Yorkshire Sew Girl. Um, um, Sam as well, uh, her fugula is me. So obviously then, I'm ready to go out so I'm going to do a very very quick video to see how, how long I can do it for. So then let's see um, about uh, this challenge. First one is I'm going to talk to you about this has been one of the most popular free sewing patterns out there and um, it is called um, et, 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 Etsy Camisole by Tammy Handmade. I just put a picture at the side. So if you see me looking down, then I can tell because I'm on uh, reading things from my lap from my iPad. I'll tell you a little bit about it. So then, so this is a free sewing pattern and. This Etsy camisole has a stylish scallop detail with a relaxed and comfortable fit. The slip-on style top is perfect for beginners and features a statement neckline and thin straps for a chic look. And you can pair with these, this top with uh, the henna trousers from this lovely picture here. Um, and this, uh, this top is a beginner's friendly and it's perfect um for your first ever uh, sewing project so then um because i have got the henna trousers already and now that's part of my make nine plans so hopefully i can um make this sewing pattern as a wearable twirl 
so let's see how I get on. Um, I'm probably going to make it for uh, coming up to the spring and the summer months. Um, so these are also a huge tutorial. tutorial. Um, if I if I don't forget, then I'll just put the links in down below. Uh, and Tammy had made as a brilliant uh, video tutorial about it. So so the fact the fabric recommendations for to make this top is um, anything for a lightweight woven non stretch fabric such as satin, cotton poplin. Um, a viscous, a crepe, chiffon, a chiffon and a foil. Uh, all you need to do is get 1.5 metres of fabric for all sizes 6 to 24. Now this, uh, the sizing uh, is designed for a looser fit so when choosing the sizes go for your bust measurements. So this um, size is from 6 to 24, so the bust is 31 in inches right to 49 inches, the waist is 24 to 42 inches and the hips is 34 inches right to 52 inches for the hip. Um, you can download this pattern onto our website, so I'll put in that down below and then um, you can print it off at home. So I think this could be a perfect one. So I thought, you know what? Um, I think a lot of people has mentioned this top before, but this this is a video tutorial as well. So then, so the the second one is um, it's also also a top, and it's um, it's called the Batu top, and it's also a PDF, and it's from Friday Pattern Company. Now this one, um, I put on the website down below, but this one you can pay as what you want, but you can also get it for, for free as well. So then, the Friday Batu is a classic top that is sure to become an elegant and well-worn essential in your handmade wardrobe. It is a knit top that can be made with long and short sleeves. It is designed to be a relaxed fit top, not loose but not tight. It will pair well with a lot of uh, Friday pattern, uh, sewing patterns. Um, details, um, this one comes up to XS to 7X um, and it's a bust uh, with 32 inches to 60 inches and it's a PDF uh, pattern. It's designed for knit fabrics with at least 50% cross grain stretch. And this one's going to be a perfect look for, for the spring and the summer. And I've put in like a few um, pictures of what it looks like. So the, f um, the notions that you'll probably need to make this garment is um, you to use stretch or jersey, sewing machine needle and matching thread and a knit fabric as well. So that one is that one. So uh, Chelsea um, does a sew along tutorial on how to make um, the top as well. Moving on to number three is also these um sport shorts pdf pattern now again this is also pay it as you want this is also a free pattern um so i'll just put a picture at the side of it so you know what they actually are um so these these could be perfect for any summertime activities uh, these woven shorts feature pockets and an elasticated drawstring, waistband and cute um, bold edges. The sport shorts are easy to sew and fun to wear. Um, these shorts can also be for lounging about as well and can be worn when you want to play some sports or like if you want to, if, you, if you're like running on if anything in a warm day, they can make up some shorts. So I'll just put like a few little pictures um, about them. It is a PDF pattern, it's exactly the same uh, size um, size chart 
um, it's excess to 7x um, up to 32 um, inches up to 60 feet inches for the hip um, again it's also a PDF pattern um, so yeah, I can print them off from home and it's designed for light to mead weight woven fabrics and there's a lot of things on Instagram um, that gives you some inspiration and which which best is for you now then so the, the reason why I put this in my in my video is because there's also a tutorial as well on how to make the shorts I never made uh, my pair of shorts so I might as well um, make it up as well um, so the fabric recommendations the sport shorts are a scrap um, so you've got a few scraps laying about now this this pattern is a great opportunity to dive into your stash which could be like a one meter of fabric or half a meter and you can play around unexpected prints colors together any lightweight um, woven fabrics works great if you are using a heavy fabric consider making your own binding out of something lighter otherwise it may get bulky so the notions to to make uh, the sports the sport shorts is you need two yards of 1.5 wide elastic a safety pin um, some marking uh, tools such as chalk or disappearing ink um, and a fusible interfacing and um, if it's optional you can make some uh, some bias tape as well so then the so the fourth so the fourth one is um it is a dress and a top um so what you have to do is i put the website down below and it's called the manhattan dress and top and it's a pdf pattern and it is from christine by sewing and the city now all you need to do is um you go onto her website i put that website down below and also you need to subscribe to her email newsletter. You put your email address in and then she'll send you um, the, um, the pattern. Now I really do like this dress. Um, I'm not sure about the sizing, but I'll put the sizing at the bottom of the screen and a few pictures here and there. Um, because I've I put I've got the I got the PDF pattern, but I haven't printed it off yet. So, so the reason why I love this uh, this dress, you can wear it as a dress, you can wear it as a top. Uh, if you want to make the dress version, it comes like above um, your knee and it's got some of these beautiful pleated um, like puffy sleeves and that the sleeve, um, the shoulder uh, seam, you can um, make some pleated um, shoulders and it's to make it nice and puffy. Um, and as well, there's also a, there's also a, a button loop, and also Christine, the one that designed this pattern, she's put like a, a brooch pin with some lovely nice ribbon at the back, so it gives me like a nice lovely, nice feature to the garment. So I'm going to try and make this dress, um, but I'm going to try and find like a, a vintage kind of look. And it's perfect. I think it's perfect for like cotton, linen, denim, some light um, weight denim. It's been lovely. So I thought, you know what? And also Christine that designed this um, pattern. She does a video tutorial how to make it. Now I've I've already watched this video already, and she does and she does explain that it can be might be too complicated for as a beginner. So yet to sew a lot more sewing, but. You know she's very very nice she's very nice to watch and and she gives out lovely instructions how to make um the dress um but if you are like an advanced sewist then this pattern would be very very easy to sew up so i thought you know what i might as well um give that to go uh, later on down the year oh as i'm just about to film starting to rain so i do apologize we can 
a bit of vein. So anyway, um, the fifth free sewing pattern is also the Willow Dress by Common Stitch. Now I know Rachel from Stitch Up, she's already made the garment already, but I think there's going to be a perfect spring and a summer look. And I really want to get involved making this garment. So I'm just going to I'm going to um, read what it says on their website. So the willow dress is a waist free sewing pattern made exactly for your body measurements. A, sim a simple midi maxi length depending on your height with gathered elastic features to create shape and support. It's also got some waist ties being all together and had a new feature to this simple dress. This can be perfect for, you know, going on to the beach, you know, if you go on holiday, going out to dinner, um, and it's very, very brilliant. Um, go on uh, the common stitch and download the free pattern. Um, so I'll just put like a few pictures here and there. Um, and I think it's going to be a lovely look regardless to what it is. Um, so anyway, this this pattern is also a pay what you want pattern as well. And there's lots of inspiration on um, Instagram as well. Let's have a look. Um, and she's also got a, a sewing tutorial on how to make this garment. So I thought when Rachel um, from Stitch Up actually showed up on her video from for So Frugal, I thought, oh my word, this is a lovely, lovely dress. And do you know what? Let's see if it's got a video tutorial and it has. So um, I think it'd be nice for like a com like um hundred percent common uh, cotton, common, hundred percent cotton, um just some lightweight um uh, woven fabrics would be really brilliant for to make this dress for the summer and the spring. So then the last one is is a skirt. So I picked a skirt um, free sewing pattern that would be brilliant to pair up with the Etsy camisole top that I showed you uh, at the start. Now this one is my last free sewing pattern so I do apologise if this video is a bit rushed um, and yeah because I'm going out in a bit so let's see. Right then so this skirt is a, it's called a Connie skirt by Sprim Style Patterns. Now this sewing pattern, um, I think Rianne from the Yorkshire Sew Girl, she's mentioned um, the Sprim Style Patterns before, um, but I didn't realise uh, last year that they did a free sewing pattern and it's still free. So make sure when you see something free, just download it because you never know, it might you might end up paying it. You might end up paying it and it's like, wow. Yeah, this, yeah I've I realised from last year. So then, um, this is uh, looking at... Um, there's also a video tutorial on how to make... Uh, the Connie skirt so I'll put in like a few pictures of um, of the lovely lovely lady that designs it with her mum um, and she's absolutely brilliant to actually make um, I think her mum actually did um, the sewing as well um, and yeah they've lovely them two are just lovely to watch so this one is I don't think it's not any size inclusive um, so, but the size range is woman XS to 3XL. Um, this pattern is designed for woven fabrics and it's very, very good. This pattern is brilliant for beginners like me and uh, recommend, recommendations for uh, what fabric is light to heavy weight woven fabrics such as linen, linen blends, cotton, ginghams, crepe, and polyester woven fabrics as well. This skirt can also be made for knit fabrics with slightly different sewing techniques. Um, I'm gonna put like in the sizes down below. So I'm gonna tell you in inches because that's how I measure myself in inches. Um, so the bust is 32 to 44 inches. The waist is 25 to 36. Uh, the hips is 34 and a half to 46 inches for the hip. Um, this pattern is uh, a basic design, so I'll just put like a little 
drawing of it. So it's basically, it's just a classic A-line maxi length skirt and the Connie skirt features elasticated waistband and side pockets. So I've never seen a skirt that's got side pockets. So this would be a brilliant um, sewing pattern for um, also the spring and the summer. So I think this, you know, this so feel good challenge is brilliant because, you know, this, you know, just to um, sew up some garments, you know, come up to the spring and the summer. And, you know, the weather is getting a bit better as at the moment, at the moment, it's chucking it down the rain. Um, but anyway, might see you then, but I want to go out. So anyway, um, that's it for t that's it for today. All of my all of these um, six free sewing patterns that's uh, for the Sew Through Girl Challenge. Um, every single one of them has got um, a video tutorial. So I'm trying to put the links down, down below and also the video tutorials. And uh, so you look on the website, you can download it from their website. And yeah, so. I've only got a few things to do for to make the pattern. So, so then all of these six free patterns, I'm actually sewing one myself. So I'm not going to tell you what it is until I'm going to show you like a different um of the reveal of the garment. So put in the comments and down below if you if you think what sewing pattern if I'm going to make. So could it be the Etsy camisole? Uh, the Batu top, the sport shorts, uh, the Manhattan um, dress and top with the, the depleted um, shoulders with a nice puffy sleeve, um, the common stitch one, the willow dress or the common skirt. What do you think? I'm putting in the comments and down below. So anyway, um, I know this is going to be a short video, so I thought, you know what, I'll do this one, you know, at the start um, for Sofugo. I know, you know, coming to the end of Sofugo, so um, hopefully got your um, your garment sewed up. Uh, and I can't wait to see what everyone's been sewing for Sofugo. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please do, so you won't so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. I think my next video will be the reveal um, of my Sew Fugal sewing garment. Um, anyway, have a lovely week. Um, do lots of nice sewing and take care. Love yourself. And I say this in all my videos. It's so much fun. So go sew it. Uh, take care. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.